Okay, I'd like to take a minute to kind of tell you about what the water level means. Right now, it's obvious from you walking the river, the river's low. If you watch the news, look at the newspaper, you'll see a water level for each day. What that means is, well, it means what the water level is at a certain point. Today, according to the USGS, the U.S. Geological Survey, the water level for the Wild Bass River at Terre Haute, which is where I am, is one foot four inches. The measurement is downstream a little bit. So right down here is where the, um, where the gauge is that we're going to go to to see where they make the official reading. Right now we're underneath the old Big Four Rail Bridge. It was built in about the mid-1800s, actually probably about 1870, 1880. What you see right here is a gauge. This is not the official gauge. You can tell it's already all tore apart. The last number you see is seven. So the water level right here at this point is one foot four inches. I'm about six foot tall. I'm standing on my boat. It gives me about another couple inches. So I'm about seven feet high. So if you take my head and put it right across to where that number is, that's pretty accurate. Now the actual um, gauge is right underneath where the boat is. On top of that hill is the water company property. There's a little shed up there. That shed is connected to a sensor that runs along the river and comes down and then measures the water level down here. How it does it, I have no idea. What I do know is it takes a measurement about every three hours. That transmits to the U.S. Geological Survey where then there's a reading that's posted up on their website, the USGS website, which I'll show you where that link is. That gives us a true indicator of what the water level is. To illustrate how the water fluctuates, we're gonna go from the east bank right here, below the bridge, the water level area that we measured 1.4 feet is right there. And we're gonna go directly over to the west side. It was one foot four inches right there. 20 feet. 28 feet, 27 feet. Whoa! Oh, I hate those things. God bless it. Okay, so as we keep going, 30 feet. Really? may get killed by Asian carp. 17 feet. It's getting a little narrower here. Supposedly this is where some train cars still remain. 18 feet. You can see on the green shows little structures. That could be a train car. 16 feet, 15 feet. Just up river, it's about, about 2 feet. 12 feet. Hope I'm not boring you too much. To me this stuff's kind of fun. Here's where it gets interesting. 21 feet, 20 feet, 9 feet, 8 feet, 8 feet. What just happened? Watch this. This is nuts. 21, 22. You can see the big valley right there. 30 feet, 31, 32. I'm going to slow the boat down so I don't hit that tree. But I want to show you how deep it is right here. The train is right here. 35 feet, 34 feet. I'm going to make a few circles to get us to a 50 to 60 foot range. This is why I stress don't come out here and swim. Because you could think it's shallow right there, and then over here, you're in 50, 60 feet of water. Right now, the river is very calm. It's barely even flowing. But that doesn't mean that it's safe. It could be flowing really hard right below. Let's go down river just a little bit, and we'll see what's here. 30 feet, 30 feet, 35 feet, 37, 38, 40 feet, 42, 43, 44, 46. Look at that. So just within a few feet, we're already at 50 feet deep. You can see the bottom, see how it's dropping even more? We're at 50 feet right now, even though that number says 43, we hit 50 feet right here. So, water levels measure right up here. 150, 200 feet away from us, it's one foot four inches. Right below us right now, it's 33 feet. Just up here, it was 50 feet deep. The rivers hasn't been dredged since the early 1920s when the Army Corps says, hey, we're done. Steamboat traffic was the main reason why the, the river was being dredged, and they stopped um, steamboats up in Terre Haute in 1909. So if you do have an interest in the water levels, I recommend checking out the, the water levels on the USGS website, the address here. Or also NOAA's website, which will give you not only the current readings, but also give you a forecast of what the water levels can be. So, go out, enjoy the river, be careful, 
wear your life jackets. If you think it's low enough to walk across, you know, if you're going to try it, I'm not going to be able to stop you. But just keep in mind, it could be one foot here and seven feet there. Be safe.